some say this is the face of tomorrow's smart farm. Rows of automated machines, drone fleets sweeping the landscape, and self-driving tractors. But a growing contingent of farmers believe the future of agriculture is actually invisible to the eye. What we see as the potential here on our farm is taking advantage of the miniaturization and the lower cost of a lot of the technology to make the technology actually disappear into the landscape. Dorn Cox runs Tuckaway, his 250-acre family farm in Lee, New Hampshire. But this isn't like the farm his father ran. We can look at different layers. We can add soil layers. Dorn has turned Tuckaway into a solar-powered wireless network of do-it-yourself sensors and drones that feed data into an open-source control center. Agriculture isn't rocket science. It's actually quite a bit more complex. For Dorn, farming is about leveraging data from the field to make highly customized decisions about how to individually tend to every inch of his farmland. It's a practice called precision agriculture. You often think with precision agriculture about the automation process, the robots on the landscape, but what is more important often are the environmental sensors that are providing feedback to that natural system. This sensed landscape turns pretty much every aspect of the farm into a living and breathing data point. Sensor-equipped drones generate real-time aerial maps of soil and plant health. There are greenhouse and infield sensors capable of measuring moisture and wind speed, and others that look at nitrogen and acidity levels in the soil. We want to understand this system everywhere. Access to these constantly evolving metrics are also slashing Tuckaway's bottom line. So by being able to understand those biological systems better on a real-time basis and make adaptive decision-making, we can dramatically reduce the input costs. Small family farms like Tuckaway account for 88% of U.S. farmland. But as more and more of them turn high-tech, some say the farmer of the future may look more like this. Research shows that automated farm technologies are nearing price parity with human labor. Self-steering tractors are said to be less than five years out, while lettuce-weeding robots are already on par price-wise with their human counterparts. Pair that cost advantage with a projected 70% spike in the world's food needs by 2050, and these tireless, unpaid, automated competitors may soon prove a very real threat to America's field hands of today. But for Dorn, there's always going to be a human role in farming. Agriculture is the culture of the field, and it's really a matter of how we see ourselves in the field. But there's always decision-making to be made, and there's always action to be taken. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.